Do you feel that your woman is too much in her masculine? Do you wish she could just let go and let you lead? Do you wish that she stopped fighting you and actually surrender to you? Well, then make sure to watch this video, stick till the end, because I will be sharing with you today how to help your woman surrender to you, drop into her feminine, but also what makes women step even stronger into their masculine. Hey my love, it's Magda K here. If you're new to my channel, this is such a pleasure to get to know you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am an intimacy expert and the founder of the School of Intimacy. And here we discuss everything related to intimacy, sexuality, and relationships. Over a decade of working with men on their love and sex life, this is one of the main reasons why men come to me. And it's the fact that their woman just doesn't let go. She keeps fighting them, challenging them. She wants to be the man in the relationship and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to bring her softness and her femininity up. Now, maybe you feel like a woman should be in her feminine, that a woman should surrender. And if you expect this, I understand that. However, if you look at the reality, you're realizing this doesn't really happen that much. So what's happening? What's wrong with women, you could say? Well, here is the thing, and it's something that not many men realize. So listen closely. Women want to surrender to you. Trust me, we really want to let go and let you lead. And even women that seem very masculine, in fact, they especially want to do it. Because look, if they're much in their masculine energy on a daily basis, then they know firsthand how hard it is and how much energy it takes. So they wish that they could just find a man that they could totally surrender to. So if your woman doesn't, it's not because she's too masculine, it's not because she doesn't want to, and it's not because modern women are no longer feminine. It's simply that the realities of our society have changed and that has changed how women show up in relationships. So look, for a woman to surrender to you means that she is actually giving away some of her power to you. She becomes dependent on you in certain aspects of life. That means that if you break up, she will suddenly have to figure things out that she has no skills for because you were taking care of this. And as women, we're painfully aware that this can happen. Women who totally surrender to a man financially find themselves in massive issues if they separate. But even in a smaller way, you know, I've heard from women and I did it myself, you know, surrendering to a man because he's a great driver so I don't have to drive. And then suddenly after the breakup, you're like, fuck, how do you drive a car? So for a woman to fully surrender to you means that she is entrusting her life to you but she's not protected the same way that it used to happen like think back in history when a man committed to a woman she was sure because he was not able to divorce her like you are committed to a woman and it means you provide for her you keep her safe you stand up for her so it was an easier choice for a woman to surrender to a man because of what was coming in return. Now today, times are different. Women can be independent, but it also means that we have to. It's simply a survival mechanism. And quite honestly, you can't blame us. We need to make sure that if you are not there for whatever reason, that we are still going to be fine in life. So the dynamic has changed. And if you want a woman these days to surrender to you, you have to understand that it's something that is earned. You earn her surrender. It's not given, it's not by default, not today. If you want a woman to drop into her femininity, let go and let you lead, you have to earn it. 
So her surrender is in response to how you treat her and what kind of a man you are to her. That means that you need to show her that you are trustworthy, that you are solid, that you are reliable, that you are safe. She needs to know that you can be present with her and you can hold her in all her emotions, that you can and want to provide for her. So she is waiting for you to demonstrate these qualities and only when she sees that will she reward you with her surrender. And the reason why women observe these things and need more time before they choose to surrender is because women have dated a lot of boys. And I use the word boys intentionally. Women have dated a lot of boys and not men. Because a lot of boys out there, they're not ready to provide for her or they don't want to. They're not ready to be really trustworthy. They're not ready to fully show up for her. So every single woman on this planet has dated a guy who played her, who used her, who lied to her. This is why she's extra careful before she gifts you her surrender. So if the way you treat her is to show her that it's not safe to surrender to you, then she won't. If you lie to her, if she tells you she needs something and you don't treat it as important or you dismiss her needs, if you ignore her when she's emotional or when you leave because you don't want to deal with her emotions, what you're telling her is that you are not serious about this relationship. You are not serious about being there for her. So why would she surrender to you? A woman is picking the right man for her. And when she feels that you are right, she will let you lead because she wants you to lead. But it's something you have to earn. Men think that a woman's surrender is a given, that it's something that she should give. And this is why so many men think that modern women are too masculine. Instead, what you need to understand is her femininity, her softness, and her surrender is something that you invoke in her. If you would like to understand women even better, if you would like to know what she means when she says different things, if you want to understand how we operate, I got something special for you. See, I always tell men, Women do make sense, it's just that their logic is different than yours, so you don't understand it. But guess what? I understand women. They're not a mystery to me because as a woman, I understand them. So if you understand how a woman operates, she will not be a mystery anymore. She will not be confusing. You will know exactly what to do to bring her back, to make sure that she is happy with you, that her needs are met, and through this, have a beautiful, harmonious relationship. So, Female Sexuality Decoded is one of my all-time bestsellers, and it's a course for men that reveals to you all the secrets about women what we need in and outside of the bedroom. So this will help you become the best partner and lover. This is for any single man who wants to attract a great woman and has a chance of getting her. And it's also for any man who is in a relationship if you want to make sure that your relationship is good and your woman is really happy. So make sure to check the link in the description of this video if you would like to enroll and get started with Female Sexuality Decoded. And all I can tell you is I personally, as a woman, highly recommend this course. In fact, it was created because it was requested by women. I was doing a lot of workshops with women and honestly, women came up to me saying, Magda, please teach this to men. We wish that men knew this. So their wish was my command and here you have 
female sexuality decoded. So once again, make sure to check the link in the description of this video if you would like your copy. My love, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel if you would like more content like this. This helps with the algorithm, plus it gives me so much validation for the content that I am creating for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget to connect with me on Instagram if you are not yet there, because I share something every day, you get a more personal insight into my life. So you'll find me at Magda K Official. My love, thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you next week. Bye!